G'day shooters, welcome once again to Sporting Shooter TV. This time we've got a whole wardrobe full of ridgeline gear, all sorts of bits and pieces. Most of it's hunting gear, some of it's not, and it's all pretty good stuff. We're going to uh, take you through a little bit of it and show you what it's like out in the field. You're probably familiar with Ridgeline already. They've been selling their gear in outdoor, adventure and hunting shops for years now and making it in olives, blacks, camouflage, all sorts of things like that for all that time. What you may not know though is that the range is now expanding to include reds, blues and other bright colours. And the other thing is that this gear is developed by Australians who live in one of the coldest regions of the country. So it's no surprise that it works well. In fact, they rightly make the claim, I think, that they're one of the most innovative outdoor brands that there is. Ridgeline's a pretty inventive mob particularly when it comes to the outdoors, and they've come up with some great clothing here. The 200 GSM fleeces are just really good, lightweight but warm things, but if you want more, there's the bush shirt, 400 GSM with a Sherpa lining. That's one of my favourites, really toasty warm. There's also the Ranger shirt, which is similar but with a hood and without the lining. Both of them are long, so they're really practical with a belt on. Nice zip down to about there so you can get them on and off easily. For lighter weight stuff, they've got T-shirts, long sleeves and short sleeves. These are great when you're layering. You can wear that just on its own, which is really good in summer, or you can put more on top of it, such as this button-up shirt. That's a cotton one, and that's a really nice thing to wear. Underneath, you can wear things like the Duralite pants. I'm wearing a black pair. You can get the camouflage ones as well. These are great. They've got little uh, vents in the sides of them, which you can open up to keep yourself cool. Reinforced bum and a whole lot of other little features like that. That's one of the things about all of this gear, is it's very well thought out with a lot of attention to detail. Take things like the high inner jacket. It's heavy cotton with a quilted lining and it keeps the warmth in and the wind out, especially with its really high collar and the removable hood, which is common to a lot of the jackets. It has pockets all over the place. And the pockets are not only sealed by studs, but zips as well. That one's great in cold weather, but my favorite is this one, the Torrent jacket. It's waterproof, made of what they call Quietex, which is a two layer material. It'll keep you dry underneath. It'll keep the wind out really well, and it's also quiet too. You can sneak through the scrub in this stuff without making a lot of noise, which is a real contrast to a lot of wet weather gear. To go with a torrent jacket, there's a pants made of the same stuff, waterproof too, and they've got a really tall zip that comes up to the knee in the bottom of the pants, so you can open them right up to fit them on and off over boots. Of course, there's a whole lot of other good things. Fleecy beanies. There's a very good one called the blini, a cross between a balaclava and a beanie. Wear it like a beanie most of the time, and then when it's really cold, say if you're out spotlighting, pull it down over your face and neck and stay toasty warm. I love the caps. How's that for hunting fashion? You can get that in olive or in camouflage, of course. And there's also a slightly less fashionable, much more practical bush hat. That one's great out in the sun with a wide brim. The gators, they're three layer, they're really good. Keep the water out, no worries at all for anything except a proper river crossing. And some of my favorite too, nice lightweight shooting gloves. They've got a grippy palm. You'll never drop your rifle out of those. You can feel everything really well, but they keep your hands nice and concealed. The concealment comes from what Ridgeline calls buffalo camouflage. It's a photorealistic sort of pattern and it works well in the Australian bush. It's light enough that it works in open country and doesn't make you a black blob. And it's got enough dark and light sections to really break up your outline. When you get in thick scrub, it works just as well there, really breaking up your outline nicely. And when you get in amongst the rocks or the scrub, then its detail really helps you blend in as well. Of course, deer are one of the toughest animals of all to stalk. Getting close to them can be near impossible. And in this case, I had to get across open ground. I think the breakup effect of the camouflage helped me get across there without them recognizing what I was or seeing a threat. Then I got into dead ground and was able to creep close. So as you can see, the Ridgeline gear works very well. Not just the camouflage, but the whole lot. The design of the clothing is really good. It's practical in all kinds of weather, all kinds of terrain. You can use it pretty hard. The quality is going to hold together, there's no doubt about that. Uh, they do women's sizes, children's sizes, and regular men's sizes. And you'd be surprised at the pricing too. Go into your local shop and check it out. And while you are, have a look at some of the gear and just see the detail that I was talking about before. You'll be surprised. It is very good. I mentioned some of the non-hunting gear they make, and there's things like this, the Aurora Softshell Jacket. It's a beauty. If you haven't tried Softshell, give it a shot. Softshell is light, soft, and very comfortable. This one's got a fleece lining, which makes it twice as comfortable. And the other good thing about it is, it's not only windproof, but it's showerproof. Perfect for a stylish jacket like this one. And in fact, I feel so stylish that tonight, I might take Anne out for dinner. See you later.